Hey guys, T2 out here, Titan Ink Survival. Today we're going to be comparing the Midland ER210 to the Running Snail Weather Radio. Both of these radios are great options. The Midland will cost you between $39 and $59. The Running Snail will run you about $30. bucks. you all check out the review videos I did for both of these. And we're going to be comparing these two side by side. Let's start off with why you would need one of these. If a storm comes up, you want a good way to be able to listen into the local radio to figure out information. You need a way to listen to the weather that could be coming at you. And these both are great options. Now you might be thinking, well, why don't I just use my phone? If you're in a disaster prone area, chances are you might lose cell service. So to have something like one of these, you can at least hear what's coming at you. Let's start off with the top. Both of these feature a solar panel. Now solar charging should not be your primary means to charge this thing, but it is great to have in an emergency. Both have hand cranks, but the running snail is a lot easier to get out and crank versus the Midland, where you kind of have to struggle a little bit. Both offer the ability to charge your phone. The Midland has a 2200 milliamp hour internal battery, while the running snail has a 2000 milliamp hour internal battery. Size difference, the Midland is just a little bit longer. They're approximately the same height and they're approximately the same width. The Midland offers a digital readout, while the running snail offers the tunable readout. The running snail antenna comes out and folds up while the Midland just comes straight out. The Midland antenna is also just a little bit longer. Both radios feature AM, FM, and weather band. The running snail you can scroll from A to B, while the Midland radio only offers six channels. You should be able to pick up one of them pretty well. Both offers flashlights. The running snail is zoomable just by twisting the front. Single click on and off. The Midland is a three mode low high and then SOS the running snail features the ability to hold AAA batteries and the option to switch between AAA's and a lithium ion the internal battery the Midland does not so if you're using this thing all day with the Midland once you run out of juice unless you feel like hand cranking if it's nighttime you're out of juice compared to the running snail if you're using this thing all day via the solar power come nighttime you either have to hand crank or you can swap over to the AAA batteries if you have them. The running snail also features the SOS mode, which will flash this red light and make a loud, irritating, screeching noise, while the Midland only offers the SOS on the flashlight. You can hit this WX button right here. You can see the flashing WX. If anything comes up locally, it will alert you. This thing will flash on the screen, this red button will flash and supposedly it makes a siren sound. Apparently it's pretty annoying, so you'll know that the storm's coming. While it doesn't offer the alerts, you can tune into the weather band. I've had the running snail for years, and I bought this one because my grandma needed one. And I think the digital tune out is a whole lot simpler than trying to read the small screen on the running snail radio. The Midland radio features the ability to see what your battery charge is right here on the front. The running snail does not. Running snail comes with a lanyard and a D clip. Midland, you have to provide your own. If you're in the market for a weather radio, I think both of these are great options. You can throw them in your go bags, you can throw them in your bug out bags, vehicle bags. If you live in a disaster prone area that gets flash floods or twisters, this one might be better for you. The Midland E210 or even the 310, the big brother to this thing. Having the weather alerts and this thing going off in the middle of the night to alert you that a storm's coming, that's great. That's very useful. Um, the SOS on the flashlight is also very beneficial. If you've got bad vision, it's a whole lot easier to see this than on the running snail. If you don't live in an area that gets you know those storms, or if you're on a tighter budget, the running snail might be better. This being at a almost $20 lower price point than the Midland. Comes in very handy if you're on a budget trying to save money. The ability to switch between the internal battery and the AAAs, that's hugely beneficial. If you get hurt or if you get trapped in a building, the SOS 
flashing light and the loud annoying alarm that it sounds will be more beneficial than just a flashing SOS on this thing. Again, both of these are great options to put in a bug out bag, in a home survival kit, in a lights out box. And I can't say too much bad about either one of these radios. The Midland, I think, is a little overpriced, but I think the Running Snail could upgrade their features to match the Midlands. The ability to recharge both of these is phenomenal. To having a flashlight is great. Recharging phones, again, I can't say too many things bad about either one of these. A phone like mine, I'm probably only going to get around 50% charge, but that 50% comes in handy. And both of these offer at least two modes to recharge this thing. So you could be listening in for hours or days. If I was going to pick up just one, me personally, I'd stick with the Running Snail. I don't live in a disaster prone area. It's 20 bucks cheaper. The ability to plug in AAA batteries and run off of this thing, that's phenomenal to me. My eyesight is good enough to be able to see and find my channels. The flashlight on this one is the low setting on the Midland. If you lived in an area where they had more disasters than we do here, I would go with the Midland. The weather alerts where it will make a siren noise, wake you up in the middle of the night, tell you what's coming at you. Brighter flashlight. If you're an older person or your vision's not as well, the digital readout is a whole lot better, a whole lot easier to operate than the manual readout on this thing. So both are great options. Y'all go check both of them out. Let me know if y'all use either of these products or if y'all have something different. Let me know the pros and the cons that y'all have found. All right, guys, hope y'all enjoyed this comparison video between the Running Snail weather radio and the Midland ER210 weather radio. Hope y'all have a good day. T2 out.